Hello and thank you for watching another edition of Redbeard Shaves. Today is another software review from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and that is Future Fiction. Now this has been out since I believe the spring but it's new to me so I'm going to shave with it today. Rather looking forward to it. Uh, definitely read off all the fragrances that are placed into this soap which is quite long and I might mis mispronounce a couple of them so my apologies in advance. I'm going to be using my Rich Man Shaving Brush with an S1 Innovator Knot. I named this brush Stargazer and really enjoy this nice hearty handle. Using the Game, Game Changer 0.84 today with a Gillette Nosset blade. All right, let's get this shave going. I'm going to use a little bit of the Soaking slash bloom water for my pre-shave today. And I just got in the mail, but I already dedicated to this razor. But I have a couple of new razors that I just got in that I can't wait to review for you guys and see how they work. Uh, one of them's a single edge. So that'd be my first single edge experience that I've gone through. So that should be interesting. But look forward to that in upcoming videos. And again, congratulations to John White. Uh, John, if you're watching this video, please email me at Redbeard Shaves your shirt size and address so I can get your winnings sent off to you. Uh, I'm going to attempt to get a hold of John. He hasn't responded yet. But I'll give him a couple of weeks. And if I haven't heard back from him, then I will redraw for that 250 subscriber giveaway. So hopefully, John, you're watching this. And you'll uh, get a hold of me so I can get your winnings off to you. And they won't go to somebody else. Uh, this is CK6 formula. So... Very plush, very silky, creamy lather. Feels wonderful. Uh, quite thirsty. Some people uh, state that they don't get a huge sheen off of it. I don't know if the camera is picking this up right now, but I have a decent sheen off of this soap. Granted, it's not as uh, bold or pronounced as some other soaps out there, but I do get a sheen off of it. I, once I've added the right amount of water, it's not the flat looking as when it's dry. So, first day back to work with the move and the camping trip, I was off almost the whole month of August. So, it is going to be a rough first night out there. I was actually finally starting to feel normal being on a day shift schedule, but that's just the way it goes. So for scent notes on here, it uh, is citrus forward with lemon, bergamot, mandarin, orange, and then it goes into a long list of just awesome goodness. And that is white musk, Jamaican ginger, white pepper, Haitian vetiver, heba wood, honey amber, black sage, peppermint, and Jerusalem pine. And this is wonderfully, wonderfully blended. I have a hard time picking any single note out in the soap. It just smells like silky goodness. Really, really enjoy this soap. It's going to be something that I can get away. It's not obnoxious for working in the hospital. So I can get away with wearing this any day. Which is part of the reason why I chose wearing it today. And... <laughs> Sorry, no one's outside the door. So, excellent cushion, excellent slickness, 
excellent, excellent secondary slickness. I'm at my parents' house today and Nolan was saying he had to go potty, so I was debating if I needed to end this video or if my mom could get him wrangled into their other bathroom. This is the bathroom that he typically goes to the restroom. It sounds like my mom got him squared away, put into the other bathroom. So, yeah, secondary slickness on this is fantastic. Kind of like the scent of the soap, the post shave on Douglas's soaps is just very silky and smooth, quite enjoyable. This is uh, the first time I've picked up a Nosset blade for quite some time. And not one of my favorite blades out there, but they're uh, one that I use, used to use somewhat frequently. But I can tell you that in this 0.84 Game Changer, it's a really nice marriage. This is quite enjoyable. Very smooth. It's not the sharpest blade out there, but it is sharp. Let's do a quick rinse. Dry off my hands and get going on the second lather. So you guys know quite a bit about me, but I don't really know anything about you. So in this video, if you feel like sharing, tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do for work? What part of the country or the world do you live in? Um, you know me, I live in the Pacific Northwest. I live in Oregon. And I'm a respiratory therapist. So what do you guys do? What do the other wet shavers out there in this world do for a living? Where we find ourselves in the shave den for relaxation? I'd be really interested to know. Excellent thick lather. I didn't have a whole lot of growth today. I shaved later in the day yesterday, but I'm not having any problems getting this lather to stick to my skull. I really hope that the sheen is picking up in this video. I'll be curious to see because if you guys are struggling with getting a nice sheen out of this soap, I would recommend adding a little bit more water and that sheen will follow. All right, go ahead and frost the top. Just wonderful, thick, creamy goodness. Look at that. You can play with that forever. Looks like fresh powder on a mountain in the morning, right as the sun's starting to come up. I've also been considering doing a YouTube live. I don't know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. I could announce a date and time and then go live and then that way I could answer actual questions that you may have, talk to you. Be very similar to a Facebook live, but instead it'd be on YouTube. So let me know if you're interested in that. I got my whole start with this was on Facebook Live, so I actually feel more comfortable doing those than these videos, believe it or not. 
because I like the interaction with people. I would say scent off the puck is strong. And once you lather it up, it is remains strong, maybe lightens up a little bit. But I'm still able to get whiffs of the fragrance throughout the whole shave. And as many of you that own PAA products know, Douglas's aftershaves are usually pretty strong because they're uh, aftershave slash cologne. So they do have some longevity to them, which is always nice. And I have kind of changed up my beard regimen where now before I shave, I add my beard oil and beard balm. And then that way when I'm applying my aftershave, I can put a little bit of that in my beard and it lasts even longer. But I already have a good foundation of oil and balm in the beard so it doesn't dry out the hair at all with it being alcohol paste. So especially with some soaps or aftershaves I should say that have a little bit of a weaker scent I can make it live on a little bit longer by it being in my beard. It's always that night before. Last night I just could not sleep at all. Started thinking about work and what am I going to walk into? Is it gotten busy? Is it slow? Are any of my what we call in the hospital frequent flyers in there? People that are in the hospital pretty frequently, so you get to know them. Uh, still, that's the spot I cut the other day. Still healing up a little bit. Okay, go ahead and do a cold water rinse. And dry off here. What is your guys' favorite PAA scent? I think mine that still reigns supreme is Old Salty. Even though my love for Dragon's Blood, Sandy Drago, has become a favorite as well. And I'm looking forward to starting to break out some of the holiday ones, like Will o' the Wisp. And... Oh, I can't think of the one now that has the pumpkin on it from Halloween last year. Just skipped my brain. Excellent, excellent post-shave feel already and it lasts for hours. Shake up the splash real good. Show you the wonderful artwork on here. Such creative artwork. Love the colors in this one. Oh, hasn't even been opened yet. Get a little dollop of that. Still bleeding a little bit on that side. Whew. Good sting today. 
And the aftershave, I definitely noticed the citrus forwardness coming out. Feels very good, smells wonderful. Got a nice alcohol burn going on right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this edition of Redbeard Shaves. Many more shaves to come. If you like this video, give me a like. Please hit the subscribe button. I always like to uh, see who's jumped onto the crew and get to know you a little bit better. And also just tell me a little bit about yourself in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching Redbeard Shaves. This is Redbeard out. Have a wonderful day.